Hi guys! In this video we're going to be looking at comparing charge stored in series and parallel, capacitor circuit analysis, analysing complex capacitor circuits example, and we'll finish with a summary. We're going to use the equations we've derived for capacitance for capacitors connected in series and parallel in order to compare the charge that's stored in series and parallel. Let's consider two capacitors connected in series and in parallel. So here we have two capacitors A and B and on the left we've connected them in series and on the right we've connected them in parallel. We can write the formula for the total capacitance in each circuit. So for the capacitors connected in parallel the total capacitance is equal to the sum of the individual capacitances whereas for the capacitors connected in series the reciprocal of the total capacitance is equal to the sum of the reciprocals of the individual capacitances. For example, compare the total capacitance of a 5 microfarad capacitor and a 6 microfarad capacitor connected in series and in parallel. So here are our two capacitors, one with capacitance 5 microfarads and the other with 6 microfarads. Our first step is to write the equation for the total capacitance in series and in parallel. So in series, 1 divided by the total capacitance is equal to 1 divided by the individual capacitance of A plus 1 divided by the individual capacitance of B. And for the capacitors connected in parallel, the total capacitance is equal to the sum of the individual capacitances. Step 2 is to substitute values for the capacitance of each capacitor in series to calculate the total capacitance in series. So the capacitance of A is 5 microfarads, 5 times 10 to the minus 6 farads, and the capacitance of B is 6 microfarads, or 6 times 10 to the minus 6 farads. And so we find that 1 over the total capacitance is equal to 0 0.36 times 10 to the 6 farads to the minus 1, and therefore the total capacitance is equal to the inverse of this, which is 2.73 microfarads to three significant figures. Step 3. Substitute values for the capacitance of each capacitor in parallel to calculate the total capacitance in parallel. So the total capacitance is equal to 5 microfarads plus 6 microfarads for the capacitance in parallel, and this is equal to 11 microfarads. Our fourth step is to compare the total capacitance in series and in parallel. So the total capacitance in series we found to be equal to 2.73 microfarads. And the total capacitance in parallel is equal to 11 microfarads. And therefore the total capacitance in series is less than the total capacitance in parallel. And what this means is that the series combination of capacitors stores less charge for a given potential difference. So here are our two circuits, series and parallel. And if we put the same potential difference across them, less charge is going to be stored in the series circuit than in the parallel circuit. We're now going to do some circuit analysis. We can use our formulae for combining capacitances to analyse more complex circuits. So here's an example of a more complex circuit. You can see that it contains three capacitors. Two of these capacitors are connected in parallel and one is connected in series with the parallel combination. Consider a complex circuit with two capacitors connected in parallel as well as another capacitor in series with this combination. So here are our two capacitors connected in parallel and here's the third capacitor connected in series with this parallel combination. We can find the total capacitance of the two capacitors in parallel using the formula for combining capacitances in parallel. So across the combination the total capacitance is equal capacitance of the first capacitor plus the capacitance of the second capacitor. And this is across the combination. Now we can treat this combination of capacitors in parallel as another capacitor connected in series with the third capacitor. So if we imagine these two capacitors to combine together into one capacitor with capacitance C4, where C4 is equal to C1 plus C2, and it's connected in series with this other capacitor C3. Now using the formula for combining capacitance in series, we can work out the total capacitance across the whole circuit. So we're going to call the capacitance across the whole circuit CT and we're going to combine C3 and C4 in series. So for combining in series 1 divided by CT is equal to 1 divided by C3 plus 1 divided by C4 and CT is equal to 1 divided by C3 plus 1 divided by C4 to the minus 1. Let's do an example. What is the total capacitance of the circuit below? We have the three capacitors A, B and C. A has capacitance 250 microfarads 
B has capacitance 100 microfarads and C has capacitance 175 microfarads. Step 1. Write down the formulae for combining capacitances for capacitors in series and parallel. So we have CT is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3, etc. For capacitors connected in parallel. And for capacitors connected in series, 1 divided by CT is equal to the sum of the reciprocal of the individual capacitances. Step 2 is to calculate the total capacitance of the capacitors B and C in parallel. So we'll call this total capacitance C, B, C. And it's equal to the sum of the capacitances of B and C. The capacitance of B is 100 microfarads and the capacitance of C is 175 microfarads. So C, B, C is equal to 100 microfarads plus 175 microfarads, which is equal to 275 microfarads. Step 3 is to calculate the total capacitance of the capacitor A and the combination of the capacitors B and C in series. So to find the total capacitance, we need to take its reciprocal, which is equal to 1 divided by the capacitance of A plus 1 divided by the capacitance of B and C, which is equal to 1 divided by 250 yeah. microfarads, or 250 times 10 to the minus 6 farads, plus 1 divided by 275 times 10 to the minus 6 farads. And this is equal to 0 0.0076363 times 10 to the 6 farads. And therefore, the total capacitance is equal to the inverse of this, which is 130.952388 times 10 to the minus 6 farads, which is equal to 131 microfarads to three significant figures. We're now going to do an example of analysing complex circuits. Four capacitors are connected to a 35 volt battery as represented in the circuit diagram below. How much charge is stored in this circuit? We have four capacitors A, B, C and D, each with different capacitances 200 microfarads, 150 microfarads, 300 microfarads and 100 microfarads. And they're all connected to this 35 volt battery. Step 1. Write down the formulae for combining capacitances for capacitors in series and parallel. So in parallel, the total capacitance is simply the sum of the individual capacitances. And in series, the reciprocal of the total capacitance is equal to the sum of the reciprocal of the individual capacitances. Step 2 is to write down the equation for capacitance. Capacitance C is equal to charge Q divided by potential difference V. And step 3 is to rearrange the equation to find the charge stored. So all we need to do is multiply both sides by V to get the charge stored Q is equal to C times V. Step 4. Calculate the total capacitance of the capacitors A and B in parallel. So we have capacitances A and B and the total capacitance we're going to call CAB. And this is equal to CA plus CB, which is equal to 200 microfarads plus 150 microfarads, which is 350 microfarads. And now we're going to calculate the total capacitance of the capacitors C and D in parallel. So we're going to call the total capacitance CCD, and this is equal to CC plus CD, which is 300 microfarads plus 100 microfarads. So the total is 400 microfarads. Step 6. Calculate the total capacitance of the whole circuit by considering the two parallel combinations in series. So the total capacitance of the whole circuit, we take its reciprocal, and we add together the reciprocal of CAB and the reciprocal of CCD, which is equal to 1 divided by 350 times 10 to the minus 6 farads plus 1 over 400 times 10 to the minus 6 farads. And we carry out this sum and then take the inverse of it to get that CT is equal to 187 times 10 to the minus 6 farads. Step 7. Substitute the total capacitance and the potential difference into the equation for the charge stored in the whole circuit. So the charge stored Q is equal to the capacitance, which is 187 times 10 to the minus 6 farads, times the potential difference, which we're told in the question is 35 volt. And we find that the charge stored is equal to 6.53 times 10 to the minus 3 coulombs to three significant figures. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing A-level physics resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. 
Just click the snap goodbye smiley face and together let's make A-level physics a walk in the park.